Hi everybody, it's Chrissy with Addicted to All Things Pretty .com, and today I'm going to review the Jilbery, and I might be pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry, but it's the Jilbery um, Ceramic Tools Porcelain Series Commercial Grade Porcelain Ceramic 2.5 inch flat iron. Basically, it is a porcelain ceramic 2.5 inch flat iron that gets to 450 degrees. Um, I'm actually going to turn it on right now, and it's on the highest setting. Um, I actually bought this from Sally's last week, and I think it was, with tax and everything, I think it was 40 bucks, maybe 38 I think it was maybe about $38, which isn't bad for porcelain ceramic, especially if it's a two and a half inch um, um, flat iron. Uh, the other one I saw, it ranges anywhere from 70 to $85, depending on where you go. That's the one I really wanted. That one was by um, Babeless. So that's really the one I wanted, but I went ahead and got this one because I didn't have time to wait online. Um, what I will say is that it does heat up really fast. The only issue is, even though it heats up fast, it doesn't reach its, how do I put it, I guess it's, um, its potential or it's, it doesn't get as hot as it could get. So usually I notice that I have to wait about 15 minutes for it to really get, maybe not even at all, maybe about 10 minutes for it to get as hot as it can get. Um, it has this cute little velour outside so it stays cool. Um, that's going to be good for some of you, not for others. Some people actually like the heat on the outside so they can go through it and, and really get their hair, you know, straight and things like that just by going like that. With this iron you can't do that. Um, the tip also actually stays really cool. But I haven't had any issues with any outside part getting hot whatsoever. Um, I've had flat irons and color irons in the past where even touching this part, um, the tip where it's supposed to stay cool, it is still get hot and actually burn me. So that's a good thing. Um, another thing I like is the separate dowel for the on and off setting as well as the heat setting. So you can turn it on and off without worrying about adjusting your settings and things like that. Sometimes they make it all one, I guess you would call it all one unit. I don't like that at all um, because I don't have to like resetting, I don't like resetting my um, my heat settings every day. Um, another thing I noticed about this flat iron, I'm not even sure if you can see it right here, but there's a gap. There's a gap between here and here. And this is just with me closing it the regular way, no pressure. It's still a small gap right along here, but it's, it's bigger right here. So as you can see, I have to apply a lot of pressure to get it to completely close. Usually when I'm buying a flat iron, if I'm not, if I'm being really particular and going for something that I know I really want, um, what I like to do is make sure that this entire part closes without any issues. Because if I'm in a rush or if I'm being lazy, if I'm not paying attention, I want to make sure that my hair is still getting the even amount of heat that it can get. Um, I don't want to see one, one side of it frizzy and the other side straight after one pass. It should all, you know, distribute the heat evenly. And if your flat irons aren't closing all the way, chances are you're going to run into that issue if you're not paying attention. So I did notice that. Um, I have another set of porcelain ceramic irons. Um, they're actually a lot smoother than this one. Um, but you know what? I actually didn't notice any issues when I was actually doing my hair, so that's a good thing. Um, but I did notice just off of touching it alone you run into some issues. So what I'll do is I'll give it um, a small pass. And this hair is already straight so you're not going to see a huge difference at all. And I'm not going to use a heat protector. Normally I do but for this video because I want to do a separate video just for heat protectors and things like that. So I'm not going to use one right now. You'll also notice that you can't get all the way up there so if you're concerned about that issue Go with the go with a smaller flat iron. Flat iron. You should have maybe like a one inch, one and a half inch flat iron, so you can get to areas like that. It also helps when you do small passes. Small. I'm sorry. Slow passes. So as you can see, it's not it's not a bad flat iron at all. Actually, you know what? I'm not in love with this flat iron, but for the price, I don't think I could possibly find better. I don't think I don't think in a million years I can ever find better. Um, thirty thirty eight dollars, 
for this size. It's porcelain ceramic. Um, keep in mind, ceramic is known for taking a long time to heat up. So I guess once you add the porcelain in it, which is known for being really smooth, it doesn't take that long. The porcelain doesn't take as long as ceramic to heat up. So I guess that's why it would, I'm not surprised that it heats up really fast, but it doesn't reach, it doesn't get as hot as it could get in, you know, as fast as they claim. Overall, I like it. It does have that little squeakiness, that little cheap feel to it, but you know what? It's a cheap flat iron. It's okay. Um, it also came with a one-year warranty. And if I'm right, Sally's is offering... Sally's does this thing now where I think for maybe about five more dollars they'll extend it another year or so. Um, but the problem is you have to get it while you're purchasing it. The only issue is with that is some flat irons are actually coming with five-year warranties now. So you could be paying for it for nothing. In five years there's going to be something better, newer. You're going to want something else, trust me. Um, so if you are getting the extended warranty that Sally's offer, just make sure that that your flat iron isn't even, that make sure that it's already covered for about five years, if it is. So, that concludes everything, and you guys have a good day. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and thanks for watching. Bye.